What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I have a very cool tip for you on how to make your PC quieter for pretty cheap. For only $15, I picked up these two pieces of sound dampening foam. I'm gonna show you how you can put these inside your PC case to make the sound coming out of your PC a lot quieter or dampened. So like I said, these pieces of foam, you get two massive pieces and I wanna say like 14 and a half by 20 and a half. They're from a company called Silverstone. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can check them out and pick them up if you want. But for only $15, you're getting two massive pieces of this sound dampening foam to put inside your PC. Now if your PC is pretty loud, odds are it's one of two things. You either have really cheap fans that are just grinding away 24 seven like a jet engine, or it's the vibrations coming from you know fans against your PC case or the vibrations coming from your hard drive. So we're gonna mess around inside my PC just to see how much more quiet we can make it. Now before we do it and start this off, I just wanna say I have the NZXT H440 case. It already comes pre-installed with sound dampening foam on the inside of the case. And my PC really isn't that loud. It's relatively quiet as it is, but I wanna see how much more this can make an effect. I did a quick little reading before this um, with an app on my iPhone, not too reliable, but using the microphone, the app judged that we're getting a reading of around 48 to 49 decibels. So we're gonna see how much lower we can make that number after we apply the foam on the inside. So let's start it off. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, the NZXT H440 does have some sound dampening foam pre-installed already, so we won't need to really worry about the, uh, the front plate to the case. Okay, so we have this entire area right here with nothing on it, tons of metal, and this really serves no purpose because I don't have any hard drive bays installed over here. So what we're gonna do is just cut out a, uh, a pretty large rectangle, install it there, and that's gonna be our first step. Now one thing we're going to keep in mind is the airflow and the ventilation of your system. Uh, you're not going to want to cover up a lot of the areas where the airflow is going to be moving in and out because then the temperature of your PC is going to increase a lot. That's all blocked up. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm not going to worry about it too much because my CPU is water cooled and it's going to be coming out of the top vents. So I can afford to cover up some of the PCI brackets on the bottom here, but just keep that in mind. So after about like 20 minutes of filming myself putting foam inside the case, I figured, you know, the audience probably doesn't want to watch me doing this in a time lapse. So skipping ahead, it's all done now. And I was very precise and detailed about where I was putting the foam to absorb any potential heating problems later on down the road with it getting trapped on the inside. So I was very detailed about where I was covering. Now, as you guys saw, my NZXT H440 case already comes pre-installed with the sound dampening foam on the inside. Side, which is great. You have the left and right panels have it. The top and the front panel also have it on the inside to absorb any extra sounds coming out for a more silent case. And that was really great. It saved me a lot of time putting it on. As you can see, I still have a full sheet of sound dampening foam left with a little bit of extras here. Um, so most cases aren't gonna have that already on there. So you're gonna be probably using the majority of this on your case to be covering up a lot of the metal panels because any sort of extra sound and vibrations on the inside is gonna bounce off and reflect off the metal on the inside. So you're probably gonna be using uh, the majority of the foam if you don't have a sound dampened case already. So going into what I did and some things that you could do in the process of quieting your PC case, I spent a lot of time on the front panel. I did so because they have that plastic dust absorbing shield on the front there, you know, the dust cover in front of my three front fans. And I wanted to spend time and put foam in between the two because metal contacting plastic is never good, especially where fans are. I wanted to put the foam there to prevent and absorb any sort of vibrations that would ordinarily be there. Because again, when you have your fans blowing in, uh, you're not gonna want to have the plastic, you know, constantly vibrating on the metal chassis there. So I put foam in between there and uh, it was very detailed because I didn't want it to be touching any of the fans, causing any problems. So I spent a lot of time on that. 
I also spent a lot of time on the back panel facing the wall and the bottom of the case because there were a lot of unnecessary holes there that's not going to affect any heat dissipation, but it was more for cable routing and cable management within the PC. So I just put some foam on them in certain areas to you know, prevent any sound leaking coming out of there, leaking out the side or the back or bottom of the case. And the other thing I did, which is perhaps the most important part about the sound dampening process here, was I put very thin strips of foam in between my fans on the top radiator, as well as around the fan on the back side of the case. This is going to prevent, again, any vibrations that would be ordinarily caused from the fan spinning loud or rubbing up against the metal of the radiator. So just having the foam in between there, hopefully it's going to absorb any of that unnecessary sound, vibrations, or extra buzzing. Now what you could do to even further dampen the sound of your PC case that I didn't do because I didn't feel like you know tearing it all apart and rebuilding it is put foam between pretty much every fan in your case uh, and the actual metal part of the case as well as the radiator. Uh, since the foam is very very thin and it is foam it can squish down. If you put that between the metal parts where you're screwing in you know the radiator to the fan or the fan to the case it will definitely help prevent any sort of vibrations or loud buzzing that would ordinarily occur. All right, so now we're gonna plug it in, put it to the test and see how many degrees or how much lower we can get that decibel reader um, now that we've put some sound dampening foam on the inside. Okay, so interestingly enough, um, before I put the sound dampening foam inside my case, the CPU is hovering at around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. Have the Corsair Link booted up. And now afterwards, I just checked it and we're right around the same thing, around 20 to 29 degrees Celsius. So I think I was right when I said I didn't cover any you know, ventilation holes or really interrupt the heat dissipation throughout the case. So that is good. And now for the most important parts, did it actually lower the sound coming out of my PC? Is my PC case now quieter? And like I mentioned before, I'm using my iPhone app. It is not an accurate decibel reading at all, but it was giving us around 49 to 50 uh, decibel reading. Now, after the foam is applied, we're getting around 43 to 44 decibels. So a six to seven decibel reading drop coming out of my PC case. So did this work? Yes. Is it going to be actually audible to you? Are you going to be able to actually hear the six to seven degree decibel difference? No. And again, the app isn't very accurate, but it was able to pick up the six to seven decibel difference after we applied the foam. So it worked. Yes. It's not going to be absolutely, you know, world changing. But again, if you don't have a PC case with sound dampening foam already applied, this will probably uh, help you out a lot more and you'll probably see much better results. So. I think it's a success. Hope you guys enjoyed. And again, you could pick it up in the description down below. I'll drop a link for it. It's only 15 bucks. The video helped you out. Give the video a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past. You're not going to want to miss out on some of the stuff I got coming up in the near future. So hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY project. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.